The ancient city of York has been the jewel in Yorkshire's tourism crown for generations, with over 7 million people each year visiting the heritage hotspot. With so many visitors, including those making annual pilgrimages to the city's festivals and events, many people think they know York inside out. But this year, leading attractions and the destination marketing team at Visit York are revealing an unseen side to the city, with a host of experiences to be found only in York. Even the most familiar of places can have secrets to reveal. So we're in York Minster, but it doesn't really look like York Minster to be up here. Where are we? Well, we're in what we call the Mason's Loft. And what we're looking at down here is a tracing floor onto which he would scribe the shapes of the arches of the windows or the arches of the doors. And is this quite a unique space? This is only one of two uh, remaining in the country. The other one is at Wells Cathedral, but much smaller. We run tours up here three times a week on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 11 o'clock. And uh, we go, come in here first, and then we take them a little bit further up into the chapter house roof. Sometimes going behind the scenes gives you a very different perspective, like here at Castle Howard, famous for the filming of Brideshead Revisited not just once, but twice. The central dome, restored and replaced following a terrible fire in 1940, is a well-known landmark, and most visitors stand in the Grand Hall, admiring from below. But this year, a series of special tours gives you access to the gallery dome for a unique view of the house and surroundings. We asked Nick Howard, the owner of the house, about the secret tours of the central dome run by the team here. Yes, indeed, the Behind Closed Doors tour, um, which allows people to see work that has been done and also work that needs to be done because there's a constant process of restoration and rebuilding going on here. And your father was the first person to open up a private property to the public. So what was that like for him? Well, he was not so much the first person. He was amongst the first people. There were several houses that realised that this was the way forward. And again, it happened such a long time ago, I and mean, I was about one year old or less when it, when it happened, that I don't remember anything else. So I've, I've been used to people actually parking and coming around the house, playing their two and six, as we used to say, um, all my life. Back in York, at one of England's most iconic race courses, those arriving early can get not only the best view of the track, but also a free tour behind the scenes, like here, where every jockey riding has their way in ahead of each race. Sometimes York's unique offering is in plain sight, like here at the Jorvik Viking Centre. Now, if you thought that the highlight was riding through a recreated Viking town, then maybe you should come and meet the team. So, hello, Torvard. What can you tell me about being a Viking here at the Jorvik Viking Centre? You know, it's a brilliant experience being down here 12 feet below the ground, where all these founds were located in the Coppergate dig. We've got all the replicas in the museum and the original finds from the site as well that you can come and have a good look at. And we'd be more than happy to talk to you in detail about the individual items. So is there quite a few Viking reenactors here? There's quite a few of us, yes. We are the friendliest Vikings that you'll meet in York. We're all very passionate about the history and we'd be happy to talk to everyone about the finds here. And is this one of the finds that you have? This is indeed. This is the replica barrel padlock that we have. And we have the original in the museum as well, along with a lot of other items that we have on display in the main gallery. And if it's food and drink that you're after, York has many critically acclaimed restaurants, including Tommy Banks Roots, Star in the City and Scotch. And for afternoon tea, you can have it here at the Countess of York at the National Railway Museum in a luxurious carriage. Even the city's networks of paths and alleys between the buildings, known as Snickerways, offer a unique way of getting round the historic city centre. And you can even sample some of York's finest gin, if you get the right tour guide. So what are you waiting for? Come on! Get yourselves to York.